Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am going to be talking about Westlaw Precision Research on Westlaw and how to use the filters in Westlaw Precision to get the results that you are looking for. So you'll see Westlaw Precision on the main screen here, and I am going to show you how you can also see the precision filters if you just started with a Louisiana state, federal, or any case law search. So the first is to note that Westlaw Precision um, includes cases from 2010 to the present, along with select older leading cases that the West attorney editors have identified as leading cases for that particular topic. So I like to think about it as an automatic date filter being added to your search. So that is to me one plus, particularly if you know that the law has changed recently in the past you know, decade or so, and you only wanna really look for current information. It is only currently available for about 25 topics. You can see the topics by scrolling um, over on the right side of the screen. And I'm going to click where it says view topic details. This is also important, especially if you are interested in one of these areas to see what is included, but also what is not included in that topic. So let's say I'm going to be researching employment law. I can see what is included in the precision search results, but most importantly, what's not included. So if I was researching workers' compensation, I likely wouldn't want to start with a precision search because that isn't included. If I was researching discrimination, something like a hostile work environment, age discrimination, something like that, this would be a good place to start. You can also see what is coming soon in the areas of practice areas for precision. I can see state class actions are going to be coming shortly and always what is currently available. So let's go ahead and start with a precision search and how to use the filters for precision. So I will click Start Precision Search, and I am going to select Employment Law. Over on the top right of the screen, you could select your jurisdiction. I'm going to leave mine with the Fifth Circuit and Louisiana, but again, depending on what jurisdiction you were researching in, you would select those jurisdictions. I will click Save. And I can see that I have initially 1,688 cases that have been tagged as employment law cases in precision um, in Louisiana and the Fifth Circuit. So remember, that is from 2010 on in those specific areas that are included. So I'm going to first click to view those 1,688 cases. So one of the things that you will soon notice is you'll see nothing that is actually highlighted. And that's because in precision, we have what's called these browse boxes, which give you more detailed information about the case in your citation list that you're looking at. What I like about this as a researcher is before, when you did a search in a case law database, you would see your search terms highlighted, but you didn't really know the context why they were highlighted. Was it actually about that issue? Was, you know, how was the outcome? What were some of the facts? Um, were there any, you know, specific motions? What were the decisions on those motions? What was the cause of action? And so on. So, what I like about the browse box is it gives me more specific detail about the case itself, giving me a better understanding if it's a case that I wanna dig deeper into. So how do the precision filters work? So I'm gonna click over on the left side, you'll see your precision filters, and I'm just going to click on the first one, and this will actually open up all of the filters for me. 
So now I can see all of the various ways that I can now filter my results with precision by legal issue, fact pattern, cause of action, motion type, governing law, which industries are represented, what parties are represented, and various areas of law that also kind of cross-reference with the initial employment law that I selected. So first, I can see legal issue. I can go through all of the various categories. So here I have discrimination. I have hostile environment and harassment. I can even dive deeper and then open up discrimination to find more specific information about that particular issue and even get deeper into those where it was found, where discrimination, general determination wasn't found, where it was found, sufficiently or insufficiently pled, and so on. So you can sort of get really deep into the specifics of where you want your cases to be. Um, it's always something that I hear a lot from the 1Ls. I want to find something exactly like this, where the court found that this happened or this didn't happen. And so that's where I think precision was developed is we want to know the real specifics and the outcomes and the determinations of what happened in the case. What was the case really about? And that's what precision is intended to help you with. So I'm not going to select anything yet. I'm going to just kind of go through all the filters just to see what's out there. I don't want to limit myself yet. I just kind of want to see everything that is an option. And so I can kind of go through all of the various options, harassment, supervisor, if it was a coworker, you know, want to get really factual there, something really specific. The employment was terminated generally without cause, for cause. Uh, maybe a protected class. I talked about age discrimination. Maybe here are 161, about 10th of the original results that specifically talk about age discrimination. What was the cause of action? Here I can see all of the different options here that might be useful for me. What were the motion types? Motion for summary judgment, for attorney fees. Um, motion for costs, for remand, anything that you are specifically interested in. The governing law under the Civil Rights Act. Here we have the ADEA. That might be something that I'm specifically looking for. What industries? You know, was it a government job? Was it in healthcare, at a hospital, hospitality and leisure, maybe at a hotel, um, education, at a college or at a school? and so on. So again, you can kind of get really, really specific to the results that you want. Um, who were the parties that were um, represented in these cases? And then again, the final one, as I mentioned, you have your 1,688 employment law cases, but also what other practice areas are represented within the cases? What were other legal issues that were argued and discussed? So I'm gonna go back to governing law. And so maybe I am looking specifically for something dealing with the Age Discrimination and Employment Act. And it dropped my list down to 123 from the original 1,688. And maybe I want to see if there's anything else specifically about retaliation. And now I can see that there are 28 of those 160 or so cases that specifically also dealt with retaliation. And now I can view those 28 cases that specifically address the ADEA and retaliation. And so now I can look through my browse boxes to see how those precision filters work for me. Here we have retaliation, knowledge of protected activity, um, employee was fired after filing a charge, um, the, you know, the legal assistant was 62 years old. Uh, I can, again, just kind of go through all of the boxes to see 
what these cases specifically addressed, what were the outcomes, what were the causes of action that were related here. So that is just simply put a precision search, how you can go through the filters to find those pinpointed things that you are looking for um, in your results in your specific jurisdictions. So as I mentioned before, at the beginning of the class, you can start with just a regular search if you wanted to. So you can see here that I have Louisiana state and federal cases saved on to my get started toolbar. So I have that saved and let's say I just actually started with um, an ADEA search and I can select my jurisdiction here and I'm gonna hit search. Now remember this is in everything Louisiana state and federal. So I am going to get more than my precision search because this will include cases prior to 2010. So I've received, I've retrieved here 2,586 cases. So I do see my other filters that I always have when I run case law searches, but I now also have the power to include precision filters to try to narrow the results up. So I am back now to my precision filters that I can start tagging my searches by and include some of those filters. So I can take my 2,500 down to maybe 46 that specifically address retaliation in those um, precision results. And so here I now have the cases that also specifically address um, retaliation in these cases. So that is a Westlaw precision search on Westlaw. And I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, um, please don't hesitate to reach out to me or to Professor Duggan, just as always, if you are back on this homepage and if you click where it says contact us below where your name appears on this main screen, it will take you to my photograph and a link to my email. I will also type my email right here on the screen, just in case you'd, for you to have it, anna.gara at tr.com. Always give me at least a day to get back to you, but I am always happy to help you research and help answer any questions that you might have. Thanks so much and have a great day.